your book uh, brings a, a, an, an impressive sincerity. Very hard these days. Uh, were there times when writing your memories, you left out of the book any facts or stories that today uh, you would have included or things that you told and later regretted having been publishing? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you know, I forgot so many really fun little things. And every now and then I'll wake up in the morning and have a dream. And I'll wake up and it makes me remember something in a childhood. And I think, oh, I should have put that in the book, you know, but the fucking book would have been this big. So uh, <laughs> uh, you can't do them all. But more than anything, because of the untimely and tragic death of Eddie Van Halen, I apologize from the bottom of my heart for exposing his dark side to where I don't think anyone wants to hear that now. And, and unfortunately, it's in the book. And it's true. It's all true. It's not like I, I have to say, oh, I was lying. No, no, no. I just, if I wrote the book today, I would only put the good of Eddie Van Halen because he was such a brilliant, genius guitar player and such a yeah. great friend and a great partner until everything went wrong, like everything else. Anybody that's been divorced or broke up with your girlfriend or your boyfriend, you know how it goes. You know, it's like... It's, it's, it's happy endings aren't always the case in a relationship. And Eddie and I did not have a, we had a happy ending. Thank God, <laughs> you know, whoo, yeah. ching on, you know, but it, if before that, it wasn't a happy, it wasn't a happy um, ending of the band, but thank God we got it back together. But other than that, no, I think it's, it's the right book. I said it all. I should write another one because my life's so freaking crazy that I've done so much between now and then that um, I could write another book and it would be just as good, just as interesting. I'm not trying to sell everybody on something, but it, it would be just as interesting if I wrote another book because my life is unbelievable. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. I, don't, I, I don't understand it. I don't get it myself, but I'm happy. I'm ready to go. But, but you know, it, you know it, it's, just, it's important to, uh, to expose the dark side because it's a reality. No one knew a lot of that about Eddie, but they'd see him on stage and they would think, why is he acting like that? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I would say, well, you should see what happened backstage. Yeah. Holy fuck, yeah. you know? Uh, and he really went out. I did, if, if we'd have known he was sick then, then I would have understood. And I would have been a little more, hey, Ed, come on, try to reel him in. But he was impossible. He was on a track of just wild. And so, uh, yeah, it, it was he, tough. He becomes a different guy. Yeah. Oh, totally. He was the sweetest guy in the world when I met him. When Eddie Van Halen walked into my dressing room in that show in Anaheim Stadium with Boston and Black Sabbath, um, that was one of the sweetest people, most humble human beings I ever met in my life. I thought, how can this guy play so badass and be like that humble. I thought yeah. it's impossible. He, he must have a fire inside of him that he's not showing, you know? And when that fire came out, it was, it was quite the fire. <laughs> like a volcano, a, you know, volcano. Yeah. Like, 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 he, like, like he wrote the, that song, no? Eruption. He was yeah. like that. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> e aí, meu amigo, minha amiga? Gostou desse pequeno trecho que nós separamos para você dessa entrevista? Se você curtiu, você pode assistir na íntegra esse papo clicando abaixo aqui no link correspondente. Esse foi apenas um aperitivo. Você pode saborear o prato principal apenas clicando no link, pois aí você terá essa entrevista na íntegra. Beleza? Então, recado está dado. Abraço e saúde para você, para sua família e para os seus amigos.